Hey, Jim and Lori, we are here at 1133 Via Canelli Drive at the end of the cul-de-sac. You are actually at the corner lot right here. Nothing really else going on, but I love the curb appeal of some of these houses. It is, it is beautiful. As we come on inside, you are greeted with a nice little outdoor sitting area and a nice gate. One of my favorite features about these homes that we've been driving by as well has got to be the doors. These doors are so nice. Nice big wooden doors, very heavy, super good looking. And then as you come inside, you have almost kind of like a separate living area. You can almost consider it a formal dining because of the chandelier right there with, I'd say, some interesting wallpaper. <laughs> Very interesting. As you keep going through the house, right over here, you have another, you know, probably formal dining breakfast nook kind of area into the kitchen. The kitchen also is the flooring. They changed the tile to almost like a hard wood for the kitchen. It goes nicely with the stainless steel appliances, the granite countertops, and these cabinets are honestly really nice looking cabinets. I don't believe they're the ones that they were that were here when they built the home. They feel a lot nicer than that. Um, I mean, in my opinion, I don't, they, they may have been stained over, but if they did, they did a really good job at it because it, it looks great. Here's a little bit more. On the inside. You know, I mean, they look, they look nice. It's not that cheap. Definitely not the cheap cabinets that you see sometimes. Right over here, you have your living area. Nice and big. I believe they are saying that the living area is 17 by 17. Outside, I think they forgot to take this place set away, but it is back here. <laughs> Can always be asked to be removed. I'm sure anybody who wants this would. But this is a massive backyard. It actually goes all the way back over here. Um, the lot size here is 6,970. I'm sure you guys being, uh, well, this home being the corner lot really allows this to have such a large backyard. Um, I also believe that this could be converted to like almost like a RV kind of parking. It seems more than large enough for that. Um, I'm sure you'd probably have to get it approved through the HOA though. It's just about knocking that wall down and maybe putting up a, a fence of some kind. Um, here are the AC units. They look to be the same ones that were in this place um, when they built this home. They doesn't look new, but it doesn't look like they're broken. They are functioning, spinning, they're pure on. So here's one of the labels. Here are some other labels that I was able to find. And here are some other ones on the second one. But I do not see any other labels. But they look fairly, it, you know, it's, it's working. It's working. And like I said, it doesn't look like they changed it at all. As we come back into the home, directly on your right-hand side, you have a little half bath. And here's the garage that we were talking about. It is a three-car garage because it's deep. Um, this side actually goes all the way back. So you do have space for three cars. He actually has this pretty interesting loadout going on here. It's a super nice car. That would have, would have looked great when it was actually built. Um, I did look at the water heater. It's all strapped in. It's up to code, but once again, same thing with the AC unit. Um, it doesn't look like it's been replaced at any point it's in, of, of its life. Back inside, we're going to go upstairs. Take my shoes off because this is brand new carpet. And as we go upstairs, you're greeted to this 
nice little loft that has a very nice view. You actually have a strip view from over here. I'm not sure if you can see that, but you can see the strip from here. Let me give you another angle of this upstairs area. I'm in the very corner right now. Over there, you go into the guest bedrooms and right over there is gonna be the master bedroom. Into the master bedroom, it is fairly large. Um, this, I did they, primary bath, third, great room. I do not believe they put a dimension on this one. But something that I thought was interesting was you have this small little, almost kind of like office area, could have been a closet at one point. Um, right here in the, in the back left corner of the master bedroom, right next to the patio. So, I don't know, it, that was pretty interesting. Personally, I'd probably put like almost like a very small or a larger like L-shaped desk in here and make it into a small little office, kind of isolated. In here, you have the master bath. You have a double sink with a walk-in closet. Not bad. You have this huge tub, <laughs> huge tub with a private toilet and the shower over here on the right hand side. Very nice. And I believe this is laminate as well. It definitely feels like it. As we continue. This is gonna be the laundry room. Looks like the washer and dryer, they've been used. I mean, they've definitely been used. There's some clothes in it. <laughs> but definitely handy to have your own laundry room. As we continue into the two guest bedrooms, they are not too bad. They are 12 by 11, both of the rooms. And it does look like there is a walk-in closet with pre-set organizers in here. It is also a Jack and Jill uh, bathroom that connects both of these rooms into double sink, private toilet, tub, shower, full bath, and directly into the third bedroom right over here. And honestly, this one's a bit bigger, I would say, than the other one. Um, at least it, it, it looks bigger, but on the, on the MLS, they're saying it's the same size. They're definitely not the same size. Interesting. That's why you have to measure it yourself sometimes, but I do not feel like these are the same. I feel like this one's a little bit bigger. Um, maybe it's also because it doesn't have a walk-in closet. It has one of these closets that's just back up into the wall, and it also has organizers inside of that. But that is the home, guys. I am off to the next one. I hope you like this one. Um, and other than that, I will talk to you very, very soon. <laughs>